This is me, alongside one of Egypt's best football clubs to join their first team squad. So why am I, a man nowhere near the level of professional football, signing for the sixth best football club in Africa? Well, when I was younger, it was always my dream to be a professional footballer like many others. But whenever I joined trials, I simply got bullied off the ball and embarrassed by the real talents out there. This experience has left me with a burning ambition to go and test myself against the best and prove that I too can be a footballer. So this is the story of how I found my way into one of Africa's best football clubs for their pre-season tour to Antalya. But would I be able to prove my ability or would I get utterly embarrassed? Let's find out. But it all began in London at an airport before taking a night flight through a touch of turbulence, hence why I only got two hours of sleep. We've landed in Cairo at the airport. It's nine o'clock and in two hours time, our private jet leaves with the club. And look at this private lounge. You can just walk out here to the runway to catch our jet. There's only one flight from this terminal in the whole day. It's the 11 o'clock. The charter flight taking our team to Turkey. Antalya to be precise. Three seasons on, let's go. Squad luggage. Oh, a lot. So this is the bad boy jet that's taken us from here in Cairo to Antalya for the pre-season. Of course, doggy boys come in with the boys. Most of the squad is already on there. The coaches are entering now and me. Let's do it. I'm excited. One hour, 30 flight, and then we're over. Ready for some professional football. Got to sign that contract. Come on. With the squad. Let's get flying. The team is behind me. We're joining them. The Pyramid FC Chartered Jet off to Antalya. What an experience this is going to be. And it all starts here. Come on. right now we're just getting off the chartered jet made it to turkey the fitness test is what i'm really worried about if the manager whips out the bleep test i'm finished i tell you what that's when the real amateur youtuber level of football comes out of me but look we're with the professional club it's pre-season let's get out of it come on 35 degree heat here i don't know what the airport's called but it's completely private there's not gonna be another flight today we're gonna need the shades out let's go whoa, whoa, whoa wait before we continue drop a like on this video and you can win a pyramid shirt with your name on the back We love that. Here we go. Oh my goodness me, it's huge. Two double beds. I'm gonna have to sleep well because the fitness I'm about to go through, the, 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 the mindset I need to prepare myself physically, it's gonna be a test. Let's check out the view. You've got some uh, beautiful Turkish mountains in the background. Let's bring it on. Touchdown in Turkey. We've arrived with the team bus to the hotel. I've got five minutes until I'm officially signing the contract. Do you know what? Take a second, let's pause. Can we actually deep what I've just done? My childhood self would be proud. I'm about to become a professional footballer. And yes, I'm nowhere near the level, but let's use this as an example to see how different the level is. And if I can compete on the training ground, let's go sign this contract. What a mad video this is gonna be. I have just confirmed this signature. Henny Said was sat next to me. This guy is an Egyptian winner. He even won the African Cup of Nations in 2008. Welcome to Pyramids. Thank you. I was always a blue. He signed me on a five day deal. I'm gonna be working my socks off to make this a permanent. He said there's room in the squad. Tomorrow, I enter the pitch with the professionals. Good night. Good morning, from somewhere in the mountains in Turkey. It was time to head straight to the dressing room, get on my new kit, and before we do any challenges, we need to get into the gym. <laughs> where I joined Ramadan Sobi, ex-Stoke and Huddersfield player, on the bike. Now my muscles are ready and it was time to enter the field where we did a couple sprints and had a chat with veteran Dodo Al-Gabas, a 36-year-old who played at Swindon Town and Newcastle under-18s. I knew he'd be the man to go to before my first challenger. Well, first of all, I've just signed my uh, professional contract Perfect with movement. Pyramids FC, an Egyptian club. Now I'm young joining an Egyptian club as an Englishman. I know you played in England. You started your career there, right? When I was 17 years old, I had one year in Newcastle Academy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, this, it was the last year of Alan Shearer. What's the first tip you would give me as a footballer going abroad at such a young age? First, the adaptation is going to take time, so you don't have to hurry in this, yeah. because it's totally different uh, circumstances. You know, in English, it's more fast football. Yes. It's, uh, the weather also is 
quite uh, rainy and uh, cold, <laughs> yes, and cold. <laughs> miserable. <laughs> a great chat with the oldest member of the squad before taking on one of the youngest, Mahmoud Sabah, the 22-year-old attacking midfielder that even got sold to Pyramids FC for over a million euros and he even scored this goal against Morocco. Comes in from distance, what a strike! Egypt have taken the lead here. So if he can replicate anything like that, I'm in for a tough job. Let's get straight into it, yeah? Yeah. Hold on, let me explain the first competitive matchup of the trip. The No Bounce Challenge. It's a classic. You've seen it before, but it's never been harder. I'm up against a pro, and I'm simply a mid-Sunday league player. It begins from the penalty box where we have to kick the ball without a bounce, and it goes all the way back to 36 yards, the fifth distance away from the goal. If I'm not able to do this one, I'm going to be very worried. Come on, lad. Oh, casual. He's just running up to it like it's easy. If I can complete this, I'll be happy with myself. Let's make it two out of two. Whoa. I was a little bit worried. Yeah. I was a little bit worried. Ooh. Boss, the third distance. Nobody has missed yet. He's done it, he's done it. So delicate. Just like a little respect. Oh, right down the middle. Let's go. Come on. Four out four. <laughs> Is it inside? Yeah, yeah. VAR, VAR! <laughs> We're gonna give it. I think it's crossed the line. Let's go to the final round. And there is his immortal moment! Come on! Easy. Five all. You couldn't make this. You could not set this up. Five five. We're going to the final round. Inside. Yeah? We take that. Saltarade. <laughs> Goal! Rule number four. We gave inside, so I'm taking that. Let's go. <laughs> the halfway line here. Oh, it's off the post. It's off it's the post. Hard. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> 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 I played well. How was my football skills? Very good.